In this section, we are going to see how to troubleshoot your end user connectivity. Like there are, let's take an example. I have a scenario where I have some group of set of devices connected in my LAN and maybe some of the communication between these LAN devices is not happening. Like, like an example, 192.168.1.1 is trying to access some server. Assume that there is a server on 192.168.1.4 and there's no communication happening between these two devices. That is what I realized 1.1 is not able to communicate with 1.4 or maybe the problem might be 1.1 user is not accessing, is not able to access the gateway over on the router one. So the problem can be anywhere. Like if these two devices are not able to communicate, the first thing we need to keep in mind, we need to check the connectivity path. So connectivity is a physical connectivity. Is the first thing we need to figure out when we are doing some troubleshooting uh, between any two devices in the LAN. So first I'm going to start with, so when you're doing this, the first thing we need to figure out again, the problem might be on the device, on the local device connecting to the LAN. You can see the problem may be, there may be a physical connectivity issue between your switch to PC, the first PC here, or the problem might be on a centralized device, or the problem may be on the remote device connection. So now we need to figure out first thing where the problem is. Suppose if only that particular user is facing this problem. In that case, we can we can really figure out that or maybe their problem is on that device. Only if only that particular user is having the problem. If all the users are also facing the same problem means they are not able to communicate with each other. In that case, we can assume that there is a problem with my centralized device, the switch connecting between all these devices or no one is able to access that particular 1.4 server means we need to understand that the problem might be on the remote server device end. So based on this, the first thing we need to figure out where the problem might be whenever we are doing troubleshooting. Okay, so this is the first guideline which I suggest you to check. And once you've realized the problem, let's say the problem is on my device, let's say only this user is facing the problem. So there's a connectivity issue between the 1.1 PC and the switch. There are a few important things we need to now keep in mind to check. The first thing we are going to check the physical connectivity. Now there are many reasons uh, for not having a proper connection. So I listed most of them in my next slide where you'll see some more in detail about what are the possible issues can be when you have a physical connectivity issues or it can be a configurations in the switch misconfigurations like duplex mismatch, which can affect some collisions, late collisions, some of the FCF errors, which can affect your communication between the devices. So let us try to figure out what are the possible physical connectivity issues can be in case if, if there is no communication happening between any two devices in the LAN. So I listed here the first thing, simple, the no connection. So my switch and my PC, so it is not able to access the first thing you have to make sure that the connection between the two devices in your network is correct. So if there is no cable connected in that case, also, you will not have any communication happening between them. Or maybe you are trying to connect on a wrong port. If you're connecting on a wrong port, also, you need to make sure that you are connecting on a proper port. And also you have to check the wrong cable. So might be you might be using a cross cable here which really it doesn't work here because you know to connect a pc to switch we must use a straight cable so you might be connecting a wrong cable type in that case also you don't see the communication happening so make sure that both the ends are properly connected and after that we can figure out the cable issue or the device may not have a power or it can be a wrong cable type so whenever you figure out these things let's say I realize that there may be a problem with the cable. In case if you realize then probably the alternative is you need to replace with another cable and try connecting with other cable. If it works, then in that case, we can confirm that there is a problem with the cable type or maybe the cable might be a faulty cable. Okay, make sure that the first thing, both the devices are powered on and both the ends have a proper connectivity between them and, and then we can figure out the cabling part. And in case if you realize that there is a problem with the port, in that case, try replacing connecting to alternate port, which is not in use and make sure that they are on the same VLAN and all those things you need to check. And 
if it works in that case we can confirm that there is a problem with the port okay so there might be problem with your physical LAN card also sometimes which is very rare in general but still these are some of the things we need to keep in mind when we do troubleshooting the connectivity part so these are some of the listed here no cable connection or if there is a cable connection might be a wrong cable device having no power it can be connecting on a wrong port or cable might be a bad cable sometimes it happens so even i i got some more issues here it can be loose connections so make sure that both the sides the jack the cable is seated inside your jack okay sometimes unplug the cable and reinsert will fix the problem okay so if you're using a uh, high-end devices generally in the production networks you will find some patch panels sometimes you have a patch panels connecting to the switch it might be faulty so you can figure out like try connecting to direct switch port if it works fine and if it is not working on the patch panel then we can also confirm that there is a problem with the patch panel also sometimes we use some converters in between that might affect your connectivity as well or it can be wrong wrong interface converters we use in general so these are some of the things we need to keep in mind and whenever we do some troubleshooting relating to connectivity part so connectivity part these are the some of the possible issues which i try to put all in one place so that we can check each and everything and make sure that everything is perfect so once you realize that your connectivity is perfect so my connectivity is okay and there's no problem so there might be some configurations on the switch which can also affect the communication between them like some of the late collisions because of duplex mismatch let me let us discuss more in detail about this configurations uh, vlan configurations will be discussing in our next video so i'll be discussing only about these two uh, types of issues here the first one is physical connectivity and the next one is switch configurations so when you do troubleshooting now there are some few commands which we which are very useful commands especially this command show interface status command on the switches now when you when you show interface status you can troubleshoot the connectivity issues by using these commands means you can easily understand what might be the problem so whenever you see something called not connected which means there is no physical connection between the devices so which means f0 by 1 is not connected so if your device is connected on f0 by 1 and if you see that this message on your switch when you issue this command then you need to make sure that then definitely it is a connectivity issue so now you need to figure out what is the problem over there and whenever you see something called connected it's nothing but it's perfect so it's working fine that's what you'll see and also you'll see some vlan information trunk all this information you'll find here at the same time you'll find some duplex information which i'll be discussing uh, more in detail as we move on with this topic so one more message you'll see something called disable so when you say disable you need to understand that your port is in shutdown state so the solution is simple just go to the interface whatever the interface let's say i'm using f0 by 14 or f1 by 14 just we have to issue a command called no shutdown so when you give no shutdown automatically now the link will come up so three types of messages you should see here whichever the ports you are connecting you have to you should see something called connected and the ports which are not using you might see not connected and then if you see disable means the port will be in a shutdown state so in the production network sometimes uh, what happens is in, in general uh, recommended practice is whatever the ports we are using we make them ports in no shutdown state and whichever the ports we are not using unused ports let's say let's say in my production network i have 24 port switch in that 24 port switch i'm just using 1 to 1 to 15 and then 21 to 24 so 21 to 24 i'm using for switch to switch and 1 to 15 i'm connecting to my end devices like computers and the remaining ports i'm not using them so what we'll do is the unused ports from 16 to 20 16 17 18 19 20 we simply give no shutdown so we, we generally don't want anyone to use those ports by connecting in the lan because we have some cables going so we really don't want anyone to use these ports so when when we do these things sometimes by mistake we may shut down some of the used ports or maybe uh, you try to add some connections but you realize that the port uh, is shut down state on the switch so you need to check this one as well so show interface returns i really recommend this command 
2 for troubleshooting which will give a very much more detailed information about the connectivity vlan duplex and also it will show you some speed as well apart from that the one more command i use is swipe interface brief a uh, little bit less useful in switches but very 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 much useful in your routers where here also you'll see something called administratively down so when you see administratively down in that case we need to understand that the port is in shutdown state so this is the message what you should see up and up all the interfaces must be up and up suppose if you see something called up and down there's a mismatch of protocol so we did this uh, troubleshooting more it's more applicable in the wan setup on the serial interfaces i discussed uh, troubleshooting this swipe interface brief status in a separate video and troubleshooting wan wan connectivity so this is also one of the very useful so if you see down down here so in that case you have to understand there is some connectivity issue so there might be a port in shutdown state on the remote side down down so i should see up and up that is the main intention here